And one last time for this recording session, welcome everybody watching and listening to more Megabello. Uh, yeah, we're going to see some pretty insane things. Let's just say when I can open this and uh, you see 11 rounds. And then I tell you that we're going to be playing with some absolute insane. And when I say insane, I mean it. Some absolutely insane triple intensive training uh, uh, Mustangs. I hope you're hooked. <laughs> I hope you are hooked. Anyway, round one. I'm feeling pretty good. My opponent does have these tarantulas. And uh, they are definitely good. I already noticed right now that I misplaced this arc light and it's going to absolutely annoy me, I bet, for the rest of the replay. It annoyed me in game as well. I have Storm Colors, I have Orange Man. I'm feeling pretty good going into this board of basically only chaff. Well, let's see. So, the arc lights and the Storm Colors are clearing the chaff. As best as they can. Basically all of the chaff here has already been killed. Tarantula is locked by that arc light, which isn't ideal, but it's not like these fangs can just push up and get the tower, is it? The Stormcrawlers are working on the tarantula. They almost got it. It's ca not able to kill all of these units quickly enough. So it dies. And I mean, what are the fangs gonna do? They're just fangs. First round pretty big in my favor, to be honest. But there isn't all that much my opponent can do with this starting setup. Well, here come some of the Mustangs, I think. No, I actually go for the Sabertooth. Okay. Well, I guess that is more sensible into this board right now. There is Wasps, but I do have a unit that can shoot up. My opponent has a bunch of units that can shoot up, and he's going for the Mustangs. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm not sure though, was this the match where we also... Oh no, that was a different match. That was a different match. I recently played a game where the other guy got double nuke. Like, he got nuke, and then four rounds later he got nuke again. So he could nuke me twice in the same round. Did I cast that already? Because if not, I absolutely have to. Anyway, we have the Mustangs moving in. We have the Tarantulas, and uh, I don't think the Mustangs are going to change much about this here. I just love that. I, what I'm going to see for the next, uh, this is round two, so for the next about uh, nine and a half rounds is going to be absolutely insane. Anyway, this thing right now is glorified chaff clear, but also pretty powerful tanking. The marksman is not exactly feeling all too well shooting at these, uh, unfortunately, not really well hit uh, uh, fangs. So they get a level of the orange man. Unfortunate, but at the same time, I will still win that round. So, it's not too bad yet. Well, I say yet. Here comes the Spill Specialist, Electromag, Shield Airdrop. I go for the Shield this time around. And Mobile Beacon. My opponent skipped. I honestly think in round 3, you should definitely take the EMP in retrospect. But it's not like my opponent has a lot of DPS, so I'm trying to just get a good advantage of that and protect orange man and his xp i don't have all that much mon more money this round so i just decide to add some chaff and uh, probably like mass recruit another uh, saber no i actually decide to get another arc light i think this is also the time where i realized ah scheibenkleister i forgot to put my units perfectly symmetrical and now they're off also, don't level the arc light. There's not really all that much reason to enter this board, I think. So I instead go for an attack upgrade to help all of my units kill the enemy even faster. My opponent apparently is still thinking. Let's just see what he is doing. Alright, he's going heavier into tarantulas. Five of them on the board right now. That was all his money. Chaff is going to get killed pretty quickly still. These arc lights are really good right now because there is almost nothing but chaff to shoot at for them. Until they lock onto one of the tarantulas, 
they are really just killing chaff all day long. And uh, once the tarantulas are exposed, this thing is going to make short work of them, along with the marksmen and the stormcrawlers. Rounds are going ever more into my favor, uh, in my favor, and this shield is a problem my opponent has to address. He cannot not address that because it's going to protect this side forever if he doesn't, and he's already down to like 60% health. Well, here's a nuke, but it's not the time for nuke, in my opinion, at least. With a really good round, I could finish my opponent off, but I don't want to put all of that on that card. So instead, I uh, picked the amp core, put it on that saber, and said, how are you going to kill that? And I decide to drop more sabers, as my opponent has decided to drop storm callers in order to break through that shield. He's putting them all on the side. So yeah, there's not really much hope for this shield living for much longer. But at the same time, the Sabers do have a Missile Interceptor, and I can hit them, and they will still do pretty great into Tarantulas. At least in the earlier stages of the game. So now there is Stormcrawlers. That is a ton of DPS that my opponent just added. And it is hitting the shield, and it's hitting the Crawlers. On this side, however, nothing much has changed other than I have an amp core on that saber, so it should be killing units even quicker. Shield did go down, and my units are definitely under heavy fire, but there is a lot of stuff moving in. And I bet you are not exactly happy to see um, sabers in greater numbers when you have committed into Stormcrawlers now. These Stormcrawlers just get popped against my level 2s. And they get 1 in return. I had a really good spread there on the Stormcrawler missiles. Alright. Here come the Phoenixes. Of course, this is also the round where I decide to go into Wraiths. Just to help some chaff clearing. Uh, help with chaff clearing. I'm not even feeling that threatened by the Phoenixes. I decide to throw a Missile Interceptor and I'm under the impression that this might be easy cruising for the moment now. But uh, yeah, there is a bunch of units that are really good against what I have here. The Scorpions can definitely hit hard, especially in the late game against Sabres. Because once you get double shot and range, they will actually outskill Sabres pretty quickly, I think. My opponent has been riding these mustangs until they're now level 3 and they have the amp core he also now has two packs of level 2 phoenixes now in theory the marksman got this one handed but we'll see what actually happens here well he needs to place them in a more reasonable spot he decides to add two more and then go for shields i guess that is to protect against these marksmen so that they can live longer he pretty much just stacks them on the, on his left, my right side. So, Missile Interceptor should be dealing uh, with the missiles. But now there is a lot of Shielded Phoenix all of a sudden. A total of six levels of Shielded Phoenixes. I think most of the first salvo got intercepted. The second salvo will probably not be. Well, actually, they did do pretty well here. But their Missile Interceptor armor is running out quickly. Wraith does break through, but on this side the Phoenixes have completely obliterated my entire force. And it's not even close. Orange Man will probably get destroyed pretty quickly. And I'm not yet on the tower. If I were on the tower, I'd be feeling a lot better. But Orange Man was... Uh, well, and I guess I have another Marksman here, but same deal. The Phoenixes just annihilate everything that I have. And they get some good experience points. And it's time for a comeback story. On my opponent's side this time. Whether that's going to be a successful comeback or not will be a matter you will have to see. Because you know the only thing that's better than a comeback is a comeback after being... Came back? After having been comebacked on? I don't even know. Anyway... We do have Crawler spawn, but I go for fire. He puts some Crawlers here, which I guess is pretty good. My Crawlers have no levels or anything. 
If you also add replicate, I'm gonna have a real infestation back here. I decide to sell one of the race because, you know, no. It's not useful anymore. He decides to go for even more phoenixes and adds range on them. I decide to throw shields everywhere because I don't want to eat that fire or the acid that is potentially incoming. But I guess my opponent was smarter than me on this one and decided to just drop the crawlers because they are a surefire way to annoy me. He did buy out. So he has more money available this round and less next round. He shields but unfortunately on the wrong side. I'm thinking it's pretty obvious that I would sh throw my fire on the side with the phoenixes rather than without the phoenixes. Tarantulas get pushed and get destroyed. Mustangs in the rear, some of them actually survive the fire. And can help deal with my army a bit more. But that is a lot of phoenixes and my chaff is about to get eviscerated. Well, this ain't working out for me. I am getting a tower here, but is it even going to be quickly enough? Another phoenix dies. Tower finally falls. I have some marksmen and the fire is still going. It's killing my mustangs. It disappeared right now. Well, anyway, there is just way too many crawlers for my opponent to deal with this. And it ends as a victory for me. But you've seen it at the start. This is going to be a match for another four rounds, including this one. Five rounds, actually. This is where the first intensive training finally comes out. And I have more acid to worry about. It has the potential to wreck me. Not so much my opponent. Almost all of his important units now are airborne. And the Mustangs will die quickly anyway. So I won a round with fire chaff clear. But I definitely need some more chaff clear. And I'm thinking that maybe I can just... Like, going for mass marksmen is not really viable into this. And I don't want to switch into phoenixes. I think it might just be better to go for a lot of Mustangs here in order to deal with these phoenixes. Get air spec, kill them quickly. They can help clear chaff as well. Should be good, right? We have range and we have anti-air. So they are not able to match these phoenixes in range, but it's getting pretty close. They are at a 165 and the Mustangs are at 175. Actually, with uh, the uh, tech upgrade, uh, not with the tech upgrade, with temp range, they actually have 180 range. Um, I hope I did all these numbers correctly. But the Phoenixes can still go into Elite. So technically, in the end, Phoenixes will outrange these Mustangs if it goes on for long enough. Which, well, it's probably going to, right? I think he is starting to sell out of the Stormcrawlers. Yeah, that is a reasonable choice. They are no longer adding much to the army. My Mustangs are kind of feeding off his Mustangs here. And I am definitely breaking through, but I have no more chaff other than these Mustangs. And against this amount of Phoenixes, they are actually dying pretty quickly. I guess it's time to panic because, uh, yeah. This is not going how I had hoped. 